Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hannah, also known as a Tropical Plant Addict. And today I'm going to be showing you my new humidifier from Lavoy. I've actually been looking at this humidifier for a while. Some of the other YouTubers have got one and some of my plant friends have also got them and I've heard really good things about it. And Lavoy kindly gifted me this humidifier so I didn't actually pay for it. I'm going to give you my honest opinion on it. I've already had it a couple of weeks now, I wanted to test it out and get used to the settings before I showed you on video. I do have a smaller, more basic humidifier downstairs in my living room, but I was really searching for something with a larger capacity water tank because the one downstairs I have to fill it every day because it runs out really quickly. So this humidifier has actually got a six litre water tank. So I'm only actually having to fill it up around once a week, which is ideal. And you may also be wondering where I'm actually filming today because this is a bit of a change of scenery. Normally I film downstairs in the living room or on the other side of my office. All the shelving behind me is brand new. I did film a video on me actually assembling and putting up the shelving and giving my office a bit of a makeover. So if you haven't seen that video already, I'll link that below for you. So let's move on to the features of the humidifier. So the first thing I really like about it is it has a warm and a cool mist setting and I've actually been using it on the warm mist and the plants have been loving it. I will go into more detail about the settings after I've gone through my favourite things about the humidifier. The water tank is 6 litres which is around 1.5 gallons so you're only going to have to be filling up the water tank around once a week. Obviously how much you use the humidifier will depend on how much you have to fill it up. I really like the simplistic compact design of it. It doesn't take up too much space and it looks quite nice on my shelving unit mixed in with all my plants. It has lots of different settings including a timer, humidity control and it also comes with a remote control which is really useful. So I'm just going to switch on the humidifier with the remote control and show you how it works. So I currently have it on number one setting, which means the mist is at the lowest level. So you can actually set your desired humidity for the room. And all you have to do is press the humidity button. And it ranges from, I think, 40 to 80. And I'm gonna set mine at 60. So it will flash about five times and then it will set the percentage of humidity. So the machine will keep running until it hits the desired humidity. Once it's reached the desired humidity, it will actually automatically switch off. And then when it drops, I think 5% below your desired humidity, it will kind of kick back on. So I've been keeping mine set on 60% humidity and I've been keeping it on the warm mist setting. You'll find when you set your humidifier on the warmest setting it'll make a little bit more noise than the cool setting. It's not overly noisy or anything, just something to note that it is a little bit noisier when it's on the warm mist. How I set my humidifier will depend on the season. So at the moment it's just coming into spring, it's still a little bit nippy, so I've been using the warm mist setting. But I think once it hits summer and it's nice and warm and a bit more humid, I'll probably switch it over to the cool mist. So again, all you have to do to set the temperature of the mist is just tap the warm button. So there's three different settings depending on how warm you actually want the mist. To set it back to cool mist, all you have to do is continue pressing the button that says warm until the symbol is no longer on the screen. Another great feature about this product is that you can actually direct the mist. And there's a little nozzle on the top and you can swivel it round. So if you've got a group of plants on one side, you can direct it over there. If you've got another group the other side like I have, I've just been directing the mist on both sides so that all my plants are getting a nice little pamper. Another feature of the humidifier is that you can set a timer, anything from one all the way up to 12 hours. I haven't actually used this feature yet, but as far as I know, all you have to do is press the timer button so let's just set it for four hours. So I think it will flash four times, five times, sorry, and then that's it set. So it's on for four hours now. Once the timer has finished counting down, the humidifier will automatically switch off. To run your humidifier on the auto setting, all you have to do is press the auto button and then it will diffuse cool mist and it will maintain the humidity around 55% to 68, depending on your surrounding environment. 
so that's quite handy. If you're going to be keeping the humidifier in your room at night and you're gonna have it on whilst you're sleeping, if you want to turn off this display here, all you have to do is hold down the auto button for three seconds and then it will switch off. And one thing to note, the display here might be flashing on camera, but actually in real life it isn't flashing. But I did notice when I was filming it the other day that the display was flashing. But don't worry, it doesn't do that in real life. To set how much mist comes out of the humidifier, all you have to do is press the mist level button. And there's three different settings. I normally have mine on number two, I think, or number three, I can't remember. But at the moment, just while I'm filming, I've got it on number one. But let me put it on a higher mist level just so you can see. There is a low level water indicator on the humidifier, so when the water's getting a little bit low, a little um, symbol will flash up on the screen so you know to top it up. Lavoie recommends using filtered or purified water in the humidifier just to make sure that you don't get any kind of mineral buildup because as you know in tap water there are minerals and chemicals added so it's best to use filtered or purified water. They also recommend to clean out and disinfect your humidifier once a week just to make sure that you're not getting any horrible things growing in there, any bacteria, mold or anything like that so it's good to clean it out every week. If you'd like me to do a video on how I clean out the humidifier, please let me know and I will film a video of me literally taking it apart and how you kind of disinfect it and clean it out. Another really nice feature is that there is a little chamber at the bottom where you can put essential oils. Let me just grab it. So you basically put a few drops of your favourite essential oil onto this little pad here and then just pop it back in the little compartment at the bottom of the humidifier and then that'll make your room smell nice. Although I'm not quite sure I would do that in here with my plants just because I'm not quite sure how that would affect the plants but if I had this in my bedroom I would definitely put the essential oils. I actually have quite a collection of doTERRA essential oils which are pure essential oils they're really nice I'm actually quite tempted to get another humidifier to go in the bedroom because as well as it being really great for your plants it's actually really good for your skin and your sinuses and your well-being basically so I wouldn't mind having one in the bedroom I'm just gonna switch it off because the room is getting a little bit hazy <laughs> I also really like that you get this cute little remote control with the humidifier. It's got everything on here. It's got the auto mode, mist level, humidity, the warmth of the mist and the timer. Everything you need on the remote control. I really hope I haven't missed anything out. If I have, I'll include it down in the description box for you. And I'll also be putting Lavoie's details down there. So if you want to purchase one of these humidifiers, I'll leave links to where you can purchase it. I'll also be adding it into my Amazon shop because it's definitely a product that I would recommend. Also included with the humidifier you get a couple of extra pads for your essential oils and apparently to clean these you just run them under warm water and then just let them dry. Also they give you a couple of extra filters for the humidifier. I just wanted to say a massive thanks to Lavoie for sending me this amazing humidifier. I'm really grateful and the plants are also very grateful. Thanks so much for watching everyone. As always, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you'd like me to do a review in a couple of months on the humidifier, or as I said, like a cleaning video on how to take it apart and clean it, just let me know. Thanks again and take care everyone and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye.